What's up, YouTube? Connor Thrifts here. I can't really do an intro because I'm going downhill. Oh man, I shouldn't even be filming while I'm going downhill. Today, there is a half off day. There you go, there's my hand. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> hello. Today we're going to Thrift City because everything, not just clothes, shoes, toys, electronics, everything is 50% off. I've honestly never seen a sale like this at Thrift City. It's pretty close to my house too. So we're gonna see like what kind of stuff we get there. I'm hoping we get a lot of shoes, a lot of clothing deals. I'm looking for mostly like anything, honestly. I'll take the fluff, I'll take the butter, I'll take the pancakes, I'll take the bacon. I want every part of that breakfast and then I'm gonna make that money. <laughs> I'm gonna stay away from most of the stitch jerseys because a lot of these aren't real. You could tell because if you look at the sizing, it says size 52. And if you know jerseys like this would have to be like humongo to be a real jersey. You could also tell sometimes by the stitching right here. And usually if there's like a cardboard material, you guys could see right there, usually not real. So size 52 would usually be a 2XL. All right, so the first find for $6.50. A lot of them are 650, which is good. We have Wes Welker. Pretty good jersey, that would probably sell for like 40 bucks. I don't know who which player this is, but we have the Baltimore Ravens. It says Magahi. That is 650, two, size 2 XL. We have a pullover Nike Brazil jacket. I'm still thinking about this one because it's five and the back has like that cracking on it. Arsenal jersey for eight or for four dollars. It's half off at eight. It has a little bit of cracking on that print, but it's okay. I don't know what this is, but it looks kind of cool. Oh, it's a kid's. I don't know, I might pass on that actually. Again, another one like this I might have to look up because the stitching looks weird, but that would be $6.50 for Flacco. This one is kind of expensive in my opinion because I'm probably only gonna get like 40 bucks for it, but paying $12.50 for a good quality Brady jersey, and Brady always sells. We also have a Jackson Redskins jersey, and this is $6.50 size XL. Oh, it's brand new at Tags. That's really good. All right, I found a couple more items with this really cool uh, floral, kind of like beach print. We've got surfing over here. $3. Royal Creations made in Hawaii. Size large. It's double sided. And then we have this Tommy Bahama. It has like one light stain right here, but I'm still going to grab it for $5 because it's 100% silk. And it is a embroidery on the back and it has like, like drinks, poker cigars it has it all actually three more finds we have five dollars for this size xl kids like youth size whatever you want to call it steph curry jersey pretty good probably like a 25 dollar bill we have a tommy bahama size 2xl and it's made of nylon not silk but it's only three dollars oops 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 and then we have a polo ralph Lauren. oh it's backwards size xl I love these floral ones. I might keep this actually. All right, next for $1.50, we have these Reebok size 2XL track pants. I really like them because they have like an embroidery over here. Then we also have a Vineyard Vine size XL swim trunks. Those are $4. Pretty cool pattern. They're like a fish pattern. Maybe like some salmon. It's a little bit pink and red. Probably get like 25 bucks for those. Pretty dope clasp. And it's a polo. But look at that. Polo USA, big flag, Polo Sport, and it's only $3. That is a $30 to $40 hat. So right after I found this hat, I found two more items. We have this weird Indigo Palms by Tommy Bahama. Pretty weird shirt. And they got the uh, Polo Custom Fit Striped Rugby shirt. It's only size small, but it's only three bucks, which is surprising that they priced it that's that like low. Well, it's half off of six. But even six for this thrift store is a little bit high. This one's such a weird print though. And this is only like $3, I think. Oh, it's even cheaper than that, $2 for the Tommy Bahama Indigo Palms Company. All right guys, Connor Thrifts here, back with another part of this video, not back with another video. This is part of the video where we went to trip to the thrift. It's the same day, same shirt. We're gonna go to Salvation Army first because I was basically in the area. So we'll see what we find. Doesn't have a price, but right on the front, we have a Jones jersey. Definitely older, 2XL. Let's see what other jerseys they have here. That is a no-name brand. What is this, Diamond something, South Florida. This Adidas, what is this? Something Lions. 
Heights Soccer? I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, right on the front was that Jones jersey, so. What's this? Oh, 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 it's fallen. We have a Texas Tech. For, what is that, 25% off, like six something? Take that one. It's a vintage Nike size, large. We'll see how that does. All right, so we got this Mickey Neff for $1.50. We have this Youngstown State Champion for $3. We have a $1.50 for this Lacoste size nine. What is that, like a 2XL, 3XL? It's pretty big. Then we have this Nike SB Dry Fit T-shirt for $1.50. There is this vintage Nike Just Do It shirt. Pretty cool uh, white tag, $1.50. Then the Jones. All right, next we got that vintage challenge court. Nike made in USA for $1.50. It has like a little tennis logo on the back. Then we get a polo jeans, 67 for $3. And that's size XL. Then a Tommy Bahama. And then we have, oh, we already showed you that. I found this really crazy sweater, and everyone's saying it's 70s on eBay. So this Leroy Knit, and it's only going to be like five bucks. I'm going to take the gamble. It's got this crazy, like, multi-color pattern. People are charging, like, anywhere from 40 to 100 for this piece. I'll take the gamble for five bucks. Yeah. Psycho Bunny. And then this Vineyard Vines 2XL pullover. I think so cool. I love the colors on it. I wish it was a Kuji. <laughs> I just ordered a bunch of Kujis online. All right, guys, episode 82. Got these Adidas half off at thrift cents, $24.99. These actually might be my size too, so. Half off everything except for yellow tag, which is usually the brand new sneakers. Two grabs, $2.50 for this Hugo Boss Polo. It's like a red, white colorway. It's pretty nice usually get like 20 bucks for those nothing's crazy then we got this really nice size large manchester united nike jersey only three bucks clean 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 damn it really sucks that this jersey's fake this is like the one that drake wore and he made it really expensive so this would have been two dollars you could tell by the back patch on or like the stitching there's like this giant ugly patch back here it's on the same thing on the juventus yeah, this would have been, it's also like, it's supposed to be a medium, but look at like the length. It's definitely not going to fit like a medium. Also has a name on the back. Man, that sucks. It would have been like $2 into like 80 bucks. But we still got one. I'll take it. Okay, I'm at Goodwill. Found this really sick, probably late 80s, early 90s Adidas snapback hat. Multicolor like pinwheel. So sick. Got the little logo right there embroidered. I would definitely actually say 90s. Looks so cool though with the Brazil. There's this tee that I was thinking, or not tee, but button up shirt. I was gonna grab for myself, but couldn't find anything on it. It was just definitely giving me some like 80s vibes. But then I found this Jams World, pretty sick. Size medium, it's gonna be $4.50. I'll probably get like 30, maybe 35 for it. Really good colorway. We have a LaDamian Thomason jersey for $3.50 and it's size small but it's stitched in which is really good good player and then we have a pair of 90s adidas track pants i'm just gonna look these over and make sure there's no like major flaws but i usually get about 20 bucks for these and i usually get like charged like four dollars i think for these i just make sure that the bottoms have like no major wear no like scuffs no holes because it's the worst feeling when you get home from the thrift store and you have flaws on stuff. Even if there are flaws on this, I would still get it. But this thing is actually like really, really clean. Probably bought in the 90s and then just put in the closet, then donated to Goodwill. What's up guys? So it is St. Patrick's Day today. We're going to Goodwill Superstore. I did get some toilet paper. No, I didn't get toilet paper. I got paper towels earlier, so I'm pretty happy about that. I could still wipe my ass with <laughs> paper towels if I have to. I still have seven rolls. Of toilet paper so i'm good but you never know maybe they'll have some at goodwill but we're gonna go thrifting hopefully find some good stuff okay so here's a good like offer up item and they do sell i've sold them before we have a rosetta stone english you can't sell this on ebay it will get taken down and you'll get a vero strike blah 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 five dollars probably sell this for like 40 bucks on offer up even if someone offered me 20 dollars, i'm only paying five bucks so <laughs> i just don't like meeting up people 
on like offer up for like twenty dollars so it has to be something that like is worth it and i think this will be good i, I just looked it up and it was going for like ninety dollars for like a brand new one so i think i get like 40 bucks on offer up and it's a complete set with levels one through five if anyone needs it though i'll definitely sell it on instagram five into at least 30. okay so i could definitely tell it's going to be a slow day today at goodwill the coronavirus has taken effect no one's donating anything but i found this windbreaker and i definitely I think I'm gonna cop it. It's probably gonna be about seven dollars. I think it's pretty crazy though. I see. I can see myself getting. I just wish it was like double-sided. Like the back is pretty blank. But I think that says seven right there. So I'm gonna pass. Right when I saw this eagle shirt, I knew we were on a good path. We got this like Cosmo Mexico. Got this Royal Caribbean, probably like early 2000s, and boom, so sick. I love bird shirts. Anything like crazy size XL, made in USA, single stitch on the sleeve, only 99 cents. This is something that Goodwill will never catch, like they'll, they'll never price it at like high because they're just idiots and they'll only price like Nike shirts high. San Diego Zoo, probably a $25 bill on my eBay store and I'm only paying a dollar for it so that's really awesome. Do you guys see it? Obviously not. I saw it across the Rosie O'Donnell show. Size XL. Tag says talk of the town, size XL. Rosie O'Donnell show, embroidered blue denim jacket. What's up guys, we're at Salvation Army. It's half off today. I'm trying to stay free from this coronavirus, so hopefully we can find some good stuff. I'm gonna try to get in and out really quickly. It opens up at 10 o'clock. I found this really sick Lion King t-shirt, single stitch. Has the original tag on it too, one size fits all. Fits perfectly. Honestly, I was so pumped. I only paid 25 cents at a garage sale for it. And I was so hyped. I was like, please fit, please fit, please fit. That's always my like fear when I'm finding a really dope item at a thrift store and I wanna wear it. I'm like, please fit. It has to be 23 inches, like pit to pit, by like 29 inches, collar to bottom. Like that's my size. If you guys find vintage Disney stuff, please hit me up on Instagram. I will purchase it. If you guys aren't like totally taxing, like I'll pay up a little bit if it's a really good item, but I'm not gonna like pay full blown retail eBay price because you gotta take fees, taxes, all that other BS. So hook a brother up with some dope Disney tees. I'm gonna get in here, half off everything. Well, half off clothes. I think electronics is 25% off, but still really good stuff. Okay, here's my finds. It was starting out pretty slow, but it picked up a little bit. We have this really cool vintage Adidas windbreaker it's six dollars and fifty cents size xl i really love like the mesh spell out and then right here on the sleeves you got some of these like stripes and then you got the three stripes right there on the other sleeve i think it's a really cool colorway and like really cool design probably get like 35 40 bucks for that i'll gladly pay up for stuff like that we have speedo from the 90s for two dollars and fifty cents really cool like tribal print we have a chapter off Lorin. it has a couple stains right here but yeah, right there. There's a couple of stains, but it has the flag it's spelled out. $2.50. It's faded and vintage, but still probably like a $20 bill. Let's see. It's nope, it's a dollar. We have the pubs of Colorado from 1995. And then we have an older Panama Lotto jersey for $3.50. Alright, so we got one hat. We have Bombader or Bombier. Bomb I can't even say it. A really cool striped hat snapback it's probably like 70s or 80s probably get like 25 bucks for that maybe 20. we have two pairs of kobe's rest in peace to the legend kobe bryant these are a pair of kobe nines i believe or kobe eights i always get confused with the model numbers of kobe's and then we have a pair of jordan seven and i want to say these are called the f i can't even say the word i think it's fuch it's like f-u-c-s-i-a and I've sold them before. Jordan 7 models always fit big. And they're only $7.50 for each pair of shoes. And all the Kobe's were going for like 100 bucks plus. These ones probably won't go for that much because they're beaters. But I'll probably ask. I don't even know if I'll buy these actually. They're just so beat up. But rest in peace to the legend. And then these will probably go for like, I would say like 50 or 60 bucks. Good size too. I think it's size 6 or like 6.5 wide. What's up guys? So I just want to thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Trip to the Thrift. We found a lot of really dope stuff. The best find of this video was a pair of Kobe's. I was super surprised when I got home to see how much these were worth. They were going for like $150 to $200 and mine are like pretty beat up. So I'd probably charge like a hundred and they might sell like overnight, but it just sucks because before he passed away, these are probably like crappy $40 shoes. And after he passed away, the hype train just got like super obnoxious. Like imagine like God forbid that 
Michael Jordan passes away like anytime soon but it's the same thing will happen with his shoes and it just sucks because I would have bought them before he passed away or after he passed away it was just crazy like seven dollars and fifty cents and turning these into a hundred dollars like this shoe shouldn't be a hundred dollars this shoe should be like 50 bucks max and especially because they're beat like look at the bottoms pretty beat up I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want to see more content from me Connor thrifts ring that bell turn on notifications I really appreciate you guys so much for watching the video make sure you guys have a nice day stay safe from the coronavirus peace out guys bye bye erectile dysfunction is bad but leaving a like on the video isn't whether you're hard or soft make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it